Unmasking Satan's Strategy, How Scripture Reveals His Deception In the cosmic chess match between good and evil, Satan's cunning strategies have been documented throughout history. His primary aim is to deceive and lead astray those who seek truth and righteousness. As the Apostle Paul warned in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14, and no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. With this in mind, let's explore the numerous ways in which Satan deceives, as revealed in Scripture. Distorting Truth Satan's most potent weapon is twisting and distorting the truth. In the Garden of Eden, he deceived Eve by questioning God's command and distorting his words. Genesis 3 verses 1 to 5. Satan still employs this tactic today, sowing seeds of doubt and confusion about God's truth. Appealing to Desires James 1 verse 14 warns, but each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Satan preys on our desires, offering fleeting pleasures and worldly gain to entice us away from God's path of righteousness. Blinding Minds In 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4, Paul writes, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers, so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ. Satan obscures the truth of the gospel, preventing many from embracing the light of Christ's salvation. Creating false teachers, Scripture cautions against false prophets and teachers who masquerade as bearers of truth, Matthew 7 verse 15. Satan raises up counterfeit messengers who propagate lies and lead people away from the genuine message of God's word. Promoting division and discord, Satan thrives on discord and division within the body of Christ. He instigates conflicts, sows seeds of bitterness, and fosters disunity among believers hindering the spread of God's kingdom on earth, Ephesians 6 verse 12. Fostering pride and self-reliance. Pride was the downfall of Lucifer himself, who desired to exalt himself above God, Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15. Satan tempts us to rely on our own strength and wisdom, leading us away from humble dependence on God. Minimizing righteousness and maximizing sin. As mentioned in the introduction, Satan seeks to make sin appear normal and righteousness seem strange. He distorts moral boundaries, blurring the lines between right and wrong, and luring individuals into a false sense of security. In the face of Satan's relentless deception, we are called to arm ourselves with the truth of God's word and to remain vigilant against his schemes, Ephesians 6 verse 11. Jesus assures us in John 8 verse 32, then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. By anchoring ourselves in the truth of Christ, we can discern the schemes of the enemy and stand firm in our faith. In conclusion, let us heed the words of 1 Peter 5 verse 8, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. May we be steadfast in our devotion to God, resisting the devil's schemes, and experiencing the victory that is ours through Christ Jesus. If you would like to support this channel, please visit the Etsy shop with the link in the description below. I pray that you would share this message with others and believe it as well. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Perhaps today, 